All right, so an update on the fish. I got my tangs in, so I got the Achilles, um, the purple. They're looking for more seaweed. The purple is, I think, my favorite fish. That thing is beautiful. Um, anyway, so I got the Achilles, the purple. There is the powder blue. And where's Ellen? There she is. My blue hippo. They are all in the tank and seems like all getting along. So I still have um, a two spot bristle tooth or blue eye coal in quarantine. I My blue eye coal that I had died unfortunately. Um, I was pretty bummed out. I wasn't going to get another one, but I decided to. My LFS had one that was probably a little bigger than that blue hippo and beautiful fish. Um, real, real subtle like you can't believe but if you look at it i mean the the blue spots on the face and the lines of the beautiful fish with the yellow tail um so i did get another one and it's going to be in qt for a month so hopefully when i add that one there won't be any uh aggression i'll probably maybe add it in a, a smaller tank what are those called the tanks you get for separating um I'm blind, drawing a blank, but I'll probably put it in just to see how they react to it and then let it out and watch it very closely. But there wasn't a lot of regression. There was a lot of fins flared up, um, and but not not a lot of tail slapping. This guy got some damage on his fin right there, poor blue, um, because of this purple. They were in a 45 gallon quarantine together, and the main reason I decided to put them in now instead of waiting because they were starting to get pretty aggressive in the 45 gallon so and this one was also in a 45 gallon with um with the harlequin tusk that's not in here yet and he's got some some marks on him that i'm assuming are from the tusk so i didn't want you know to wait many longer they were in a much smaller tank than they should be so i put them in and they are doing fine besides the damage on the blue um there's no visible damage. The funny thing is they weren't really that aggressive towards each other. This guy, this guy, Todd was my most aggressive. <clears throat> he did not like the tangs, especially because they were eating his seaweed. So he actually, I've never seen him do it, but he would flare his spikes up and swim sideways trying to spike the tangs. This guy especially. Uh, him and the purple were the ones that he just did not like and he tried to spike them so it was kind of funny I was I was worried but now I mean they're all getting along but that's funny how this guy is supposed to be one of the peaceful ones and he was the most aggressive did not like the tanks so anyway I put in two clips so that they can have but they they just swim back and forth back and forth eating the seaweed um, and for some reason they don't like the green seaweed none of them they're all they love the red if I put one clip green one clip red they will eat all the red and then eventually go over to the green and nip at it and nip at it and they'll they'll get it done but it, <clears throat> it doesn't last anywhere near as long as the red so <clears throat> I put two clips of red about uh, was it about two hours ago and they're both gone <clears throat> it was like an entire sheet so I'll reload them here in a, a little while, but they are doing good. Um, my water quality is good. I've been testing to make sure I still have my ammonia <laughs> uh, tag on there just because I want to make sure I did add them pretty early. Um, I mean, it's cycled now, but when I added my first few fish, um, it was well before the month. Um, and I know people are probably going to not like that but i did use the the frit sign and i test 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 every day so i'm not i'm they're not in you know high nitrites or high nitrates they're they're in good quality water so i'm taking care of my fish yeah, there's a snail on the back that probably won't be there once the tusk goes in so i'm gonna cut that video short for some reason 
So I'm probably going to wait a while, a um, couple weeks to add the tusk. And then uh, a couple more weeks after that I'll add the last bristle tooth. So that's, that's it for the fish stock. Um, oh, and the, the sump. I actually, so I don't like the filter socks. I did not want to use the filter socks. I've used them before and they, they're, I don't like them. So I put in the, the what is it called? The polyfill, um, this stuff. I've got it at Petco. Uh, what is it called? Filter fiber. It's got my, my powder blue on there. And it actually, I had to change that out more than I do the filter socks. So kind of was aggravating. So I figured I would put this blue pad on top to catch most of the big stuff and then the, the fiber will catch. And it seems to be working pretty good. I'll, I'll sponge out or I'll squeeze out the, rinse out the, the top uh, whenever it gets too much on there. And then I hopefully won't have to change this out as much. But so that's my uh, mechanical filtration. Uh, nothing much has changed. I still have all the bio balls and then the bio brick. And yeah, I know there's a drill on there. <laughs> I explained that earlier, but I gotta get a stop. Oh, I probably gotta clean out my skimmer too. There's, there's a lot of. I got one more brick in the back. And then this is the UV sterilizer, the pump that goes in and then comes out. I got it coming out right after the skimmer and then going in to the. The, um, the return into the actual sponge so that it catches any bubbles and bubbles don't get into the tank. This will be gone shortly because I got my new ATO reservoir. Um, thank you bulk resupply, you guys are awesome. But this needs to be taken care of before I can put that in. So I just, man, I don't know why. I, I have no problem putting this all together, getting everything, but when it comes to this, <laughs> I just, man, I just don't want to do it. But it's got to be done. Uh, originally, I was going to get like a, a kit or some kind of, like um, they sell them uh, online, but to put all this in and make it all nice and neat and put me on. But on second thought, I'm probably just going to screw it into the, the cabinet. It just, you know, do it real simple for now um, and then put the ATO just so I can get everything up and running and then focus on getting my um, refugium set up and starting to get corals and I'll revisit that later but for now I mean it doesn't need to be I mean it look they, they look really cool I've seen some tanks that are just phenomenal they're there but I'm I'm it's it's wires it's cables it's you know controllers and stuff I don't I don't for now, I mean, that's it's fine just to be screwed in like normal. So I'm going to keep it simple. I just need to get it done so I can get the, the, the bottom thing on there and then get the ATO reservoir in there, set it up. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with this tank. Um, I guess not much because there's a hole in it for that. But um, we'll see. We will see. Uh, this weekend, I'll, I'll be busy getting the cables done, getting everything. So... I'm sure I'll post an update, but there are my fish. Everyone's happy, doing fine. I am very happy with these fish. I think I made a wise choice. I wasn't going to go with tanks um, originally because they're all listed, especially the Achilles is listed as uh, expert only. And then these are all, you know, this was my first, you know, dive into salt water, but. I figured if I followed directions to a T, which I've done, besides adding the fish before <laughs> a month, um, but everything else with quarantine, I have followed everything to a T. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, thank you to everyone on Reef to Reef that has helped me through the process. I couldn't have done it without you guys, you guys and gals, sorry, I should say. Um, you people are awesome very 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 helpful um and so i figured you know i i have the the um, the help i need i have you know people to go to if i have any questions problems issues so why not and and long story short i'm oh, it's probably too late for that now but uh oh there's a little aggression i'm very happy i decided to go with the tanks because they are beautiful fish so that is it for now